Review mode for Word Online. So let's see how it works. Here I'm in my Office 365 account and I'm going to open up a Word document. Now this document is just a random text generated by the Lorem Ipsum website and as you can see this document has quite a bit of text there. Now I want to share this with another teacher at my school but I do not want them to make changes without me knowing about these changes and so I'm going to share this with them using the new review mode. How do we do this? Well, before I go ahead and share, I'm going to go to the top right corner and click on the drop down arrow of share. Here, I'm going to go to share. Now, before you start adding in that teacher's email address or name, let's go ahead and click on this link here at the top. Anyone with the link can edit. And now we are going to select specific people. So I'm going to share this with specific people. And under allow editing, you will now notice there is an additional option here, open in review mode only. So let's choose that. We're going to open this in review mode only. We're going to click on apply. Now we can specify who we would like to share this with. Well, let's go ahead and share it with teacher two. As you can see, teacher two's account is empty. Nothing has been shared with them. So let's go ahead and share it with teacher two. Here we have teacher two, let's go ahead and share it with that teacher and send. That teacher will now get that notification to become a reviewer for this document. As you can see here, the teacher has received that email. It says, teacher one, share a file with you and we can open this here. So when I click on open, it's going to open up that Word Online file. Again, we are using Word Online. This is the cloud-based version of Microsoft Word. It opens up the document and it's automatically jumping into review mode. You can double check that here at the top, reviewing. And you can also see that this account is set to use the new update of dark mode. If you prefer the standard mode, you can always go to view and then here change it by clicking on dark mode. Now you're back into the standard light mode. I can start reviewing this. So I'm going to click here and make some suggestions. So I'm going to change this into connector. This block, I would like to see that bolded. So let's go ahead and make that bold. There we go. And then I'm also going to suggest changing all of this into hello world. And there we go. So as you can see, these are automatically added as suggestions or reviews. Now that we're finished, we can go ahead and close this document. There we are. And we're going to jump back to our first account. Now this first account immediately sees all the reviews added into this document. So you can see here, connector, I can click on it to review that suggestion. Okay, teacher two has made this change. Do I want to accept this or reject it? Well, I'm going to accept it. I also see a line here. That's because this change has been made. So we can see here that all of this has been changed. So we can click on it. Okay, they've changed the format. I can see when they've changed it. I'm going to reject this change. So we're back to normal. And then here we see another line on the left-hand side. That means a change was made here. Hello world. Okay, let's go ahead and accept this one. Click on accept. And there we go. Review mode for Word Online. So a much easier way to give people access to review your document without accidentally making changes that you are not aware of. Let me know in that comment section below if you are going to use this, how you are using this, and what are your favorite features of Word Online. Let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and go and watch this video for even more tips and tricks in Word Online.